a site of global importance. Previously, it was believed that modern humans developed 25,000 years ago in Europe, but it has now been proven to originate from the southern tip of Africa more than 160,000 years ago. Early humans settled next to the coast where resources were more steadily available. With more stability, their technology improved. Scientists have found the first ever evidence of pyrotechnology in these caves, where heat and fire were used to modify silkrete into tools. The earliest prior evidence we had for it was 25,000 years ago in France. So we pushed it all the way back to 160,000 here on the South African coast. The other major result we had, also at a hunt dates to 160,000 years ago, is people are taking uh, pigments, and in this case red ochre, and they're grinding it into a powder, and they're using that powder probably for either painting their bodies or rock painting. The Pinnacle Point Caves received UNESCO World Heritage status in July. We want to preserve this heritage for future generations, and the world has confirmed what we all know, that this is the origins of modern human behavior, and as a country, we should continue to invest in this important heritage that we've given to the world. This is where the world has come from, and everyone that's visiting South Africa, every tourist, everyone across the world should know that this is the origin of human behavior, and this is their home. With its new status, the caves are set to become an even bigger attraction, which will uplift the local economy and tourism sector. Well, as a small town, currently we're busy with our iconic Master Boy campaign uh, to leverage as much and on each and everything that we can uh, to grow our economy and to grow tourism in our town uh, so that we can uh, better people's lives through job creation. So this is definitely that uh, we've been working towards for the past 10 years with scientists as council. The next step will be creating a centre to exhibit the findings. I remember way back when we declared a provincial heritage site and now it's to move it to the next level. So that is about investing into a centre where we bring researchers from around the world, where we use this heritage status to take it to its ne next level. The economic value will obviously be from a tourism point of view, but there's also the heritage value. Uh, and the and the value of uh, you know this place being recognised as a an origins of man where man modernised and that's really significant for the world. Tanya Krause, SABC News, Mossel Bay in the Western Cape.